Hi, my name is Bill Noje. I represent the 133rd District uh, south of uh, Rochester, Monroe County, Livingston County, and parts of Steuben County. I am here as the brother of a, uh, my, uh, my brother Rob was born with developmental disabilities, severe developmental disabilities, uh, and cerebral palsy. Uh, like the assemblyman uh, from Buffalo, uh, my parents took care of Rob his entire life. He passed a few years ago from complications from MS that he developed as an adult. Throughout Rob's entire life, he received supportive services, and my parents received supportive services, from the ARC and United Cerebral Palsy and other organizations, which the governor has now cut to the tune of $90 million. There are two things that have impressed me while I've been in Albany. Number one are the misplaced priorities. How can the governor justify $90 million in cuts to United Cerebral Palsy and the ARC and groups serving our most vulnerable citizens when he at the same time, and in the same bill, gave $5 million to the billionaire boys club known as the NFL to promote a Super Bowl in New Jersey? How can this governor cut $90 million from the developmentally disabled when he is giving $30 million to hire state troopers to try to enforce an unenforceable law against upstate New Yorkers owning firearms. Those funds will go nowhere and achieve no worthy governmental priority. And yet, we're cutting $90 million from the people of our state who need it most. The other thing that has struck me about Albany is the cesspool of corruption that pervades the culture of this town. For the governor to talk about cleaning up corruption and proposing public financing of campaigns. At the same time, he is giving tens of millions of dollars of benefits to Hollywood millionaires who then puff up his campaign and finance his campaign is exactly the kind of corruption that we should be trying to avoid and exactly the kind of hypocrisy that we should be calling him out for. I'm appalled that the governor has cut $90 million from our most vulnerable citizens I am more appalled that he does so at the same time he talks about cleaning up the corruption when he is waiting in the cesspool of that corruption every day here in Albany. Thank you.